Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back onto the ladder with Goku Black. Um, this is one of my favourite leaders. It's a leader I am not particularly great with. I will just put that out there right off the bat. Um, but I do like Goku Black. Um, the leader skill is really, really strong. It's just, it gets stronger if we can protect our Zamasus for a turn. It's just there's not many situations where that's really going to happen. Um, and again, Blue playing well at a low hand size. Uh, with us being a crit leader, plays into that perfectly. And we are the second player, which is perfect. We really want to be the second player. And we're going to keep this hand because it's a decent hand. Um, the only thing is, is that with the Mai here, we need to control Gohan's hand. Um, we are not going to win the long game if he has a hand size. So we need to just keep swinging with criticals. Um, so there is the possibility that we only maybe take one life with Mai rather than two. And then what we'll probably look to do for the rest of the game is... I say, I say for the rest of the game, we're only going to get it once because we only have one P left. But, you know, we can final hope slash on our leader um, and just keep applying 40k critical pressure. But we can recycle it with the P left at least once with this one. So we'll see what happens. I don't understand this. Like, how, how does the time work like this for our opponents? Like, he had, like, a solid minute to decide if he was keeping that hand. I don't really understand that. <laughs> I do like this alt art. This, this alt art leader is beautiful. So I think, honestly, we just charge go 10 at the minute. Uh, actually, no, maybe we charge Trunks. I think Trunks is probably the better charge here. Uh, and then we're just going to go for 20k crit. If he takes it, he takes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We don't mind. She does. Um, we're going to play my... We are just going to probably take one life rather than two. We have another in case we do want to get to that Awaken, but realistically we don't. We want to just keep prodding him for crit every turn. Um, and at that point, hopefully enough energy is built up that we can put down our Zamasu with our 30k's, or Zamasu even with the 6 drop. So we'll see what happens. I, I do think Goku Black, for me, is arguably by far the hardest blue leader. Um, with it being a crit leader... Is good for blue because obviously we don't draw, um, so we get the advantage of this, you know, the peel off seven or fewer cards and stuff. But it can be a pain, and I won't lie about that. It can be really difficult. And what we can do as well is the next turn we can probably go ten. Um, we don't need to take the life again. Uh, we can just bounce that back to hand to get the draw off the my. So we're gonna take this. We have the the better Zamasu, personally. I think that this one's better. The 15k is nice for the added pressure, but this one, just being able to bottom deck his cantrips is very good, because obviously green especially goes wide with cantrips. It wouldn't surprise me if he plays two cantrips right now, honestly. Or maybe not cantrips, but the uh, maybe the Goku or the Gohan, or two Gohans, whichever one he plays. When did he... Oh, yeah, that was what we crit, of course. I was like, when did he use this? Okay, I don't totally know what that card's about, because we're just going to bounce that back to hand. Um, I think we just charge my... We don't need it. Uh, what we're going to do... Um, do we do go 10 first? Because this is a 10k combo, right? You could just combo this right off the bat. So I think we go 10. Again, we're, we don't need to awaken ourselves, so we're just going to attack. We do not. We bounce that, and then we get the draw off the Maya. 
And then we just leave this at 15. It's it's unfortunate because we're giving him a card in hand for that. It would have been good had he attacked with the other one. Um, and then now we just swing crit. And if he takes, he takes. If he doesn't, again, it's getting a 10 out of his hand. And the likelihood is here is that he will probably try and clear the go 10 rather than attack our leader. So there we go, he combos out. So the card that we sent back, he just used, which is fine. We can, I, I honestly thought that was what he was going to do. Um, and then once again, we just pass. We don't need to rush any of this. If we can keep him down to like six, seven cards in hand, honestly, in the later stages of the game, we probably will be able to take control. Especially with us being the second player with the energy marker. And he attacks go 10, as I honestly expected. Um, I'm probably going to save this. Just because with Goten we can attack and bounce that and get another draw off the Mai. Um, so I'm honestly probably just going to combo off this. And if he wants to combo on this to attack, we're fine with that as well. Okay, so we have another critical, which we can go into this turn, actually. Um, I think I'm going to charge the Samasu. We're going to swing for crit first. That might be the better play, is just to go into this critical this turn. And he's not taken, so that's great for us. And I don't think we actually swing with the Goten this turn. I think we just do this. And we're chilling. Like, you know, the, the hand size is pretty much the same, but we have a, a very solid board. So he's probably going to Vegeta this turn. Um, could disrupt the strength again, I suppose. Or he might even just do the 5 drop Goku. But we know that green tends to run no self-awakeners, because um, obviously they want to play the long game, but we're fine with forcing him to awaken just by critting him down, because he's getting no card advantage. This this one attack that we had to do, I say we had to, we didn't really have to, but if we wanted to get the draw, it was kind of important. What we have to be careful of is the next turn he's likely going to put down the androids. But we've not seen any Goku Blacks yet, which is wild. We're gonna take. Uh, we might have to play this on this turn, because um, we need to dig for a Goku Black. Okay, so we crit one of these, which is good. And as expected, he plays that. Um, that's that's a bit of a pain for us. We have no easy way of removing it. Um, I, I, we do run the three drop trunks, um, but I think we only run two copies. So it, there's a good chance we're not going to see it. Um, but trunks is realistically the only way to send that back to hand. Mm. Okay, I think we just charge one of these. I know that we're charging through all of our Zamasus. Like, we've, we've now charged two, which doesn't feel good, but... We're gonna swing 20 crit first. And if we want to awaken this turn, we might. Um, we might just start turning our leader into a draw leader after this. Although, in hindsight, maybe we don't need to. Um, this is just gonna be a 20k crit every turn. So that might be, honestly, more feasible. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that he's awakened, um, or he's in awakened range, what we're probably going to do is attack with Goten. We're going to bounce this back to hand, and then we'll get the draw off the Mai, and then we'll probably just combo the Mai. Um, there's no reason not to. And I know that he will, I mean, we're only going to be 20, so he'll probably just combo this off, and then, you know, he gets out the attack. But again, it's fine. We can just start cycling through our deck. Um, we are going to take the life. So we're going to bounce that. We're at 7 or fewer, so that'll trigger this. And it's another final hope slash, which is always nice. And then we just dump this on. We could final hope slash to make this a 40k. No, I think it's fine. It's going to cost him a card from hand, right? So he's at 6 currently. He'll go to 7 on his awaken, and it'll keep him at 6. So I think we're fine with that. We can just keep these final hope slashes for smaller attacks. And just keep poking away. You know, it sounds dumb, but we can Goasu and then final hope slash the Goasu attack, because when this is on board, it <coughs> sorry, excuse me, when this is on board, it doesn't really do anything after we've done the search. And he's probably going to save the leader skill for this, so we could even just final hope this. So if I'm not mistaken, that was the same Goku, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, I think we just go ahead and flip. Actually, maybe not. Let's do the Guasu first. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. All of our Goku Blacks are in hiding, apparently. Um, we might not even swing with this then. We might just put the 5k onto this attack. Um, because if he does the lead skill, obviously he replaces and 30k will, is not going to get over that Gohan effect. So we do force a card from hand. Our lack of Goku Blacks is very worrying. Um, it's not a position we'd really want to be in. So we draw out a super, which is fine. So he saves the leader skill. We draw an a Pilaf. Not great. Honestly, we don't really have anything for the Pilaf to grab, I don't think. We have a Mai. Um, yeah. I know that we've got three open energy, but I don't really know what we would do here. I mean, we could we could put my down in final hope and then peel off and grab back final hope. That might be the play. If he had a cantrip again and we could bounce this back, obviously that would give us a draw. I think we just apply the pressure anyway. Um, I say that, he's probably just going to do the lead skill right. It'll cost him nothing from hand and he'll get out the attack. The only advantage of doing this is that hoping that he somehow burns a super. You know, if he um if he ends up ramping a super combo just mistakenly, but he's going into seven energy this turn. Um Hmm. It's a difficult one honestly. We don't have any defensive cards. I mean final hope slash is only on our turn anyway, so I don't see why we don't. We don't take any life. And then we can just peel off and add that one back. Uh, oh, we could bounce back Goten. Because the likelihood is he's going to play the androids on this turn, right? So if we can get this back, that might be the play, actually. And then we just leave it at 25. I don't think we go any higher than that. We could put the Goten on and make it a 35. So again, his leader skill isn't enough. I think we just do that, actually. So his leader skill is now not enough to get out the attack. Which is fine, because he now has to combo anyway. So it's not, it's not really going to change anything, but that does tell us that he either doesn't want to burn a super combo, or he doesn't have a super combo. And I think that was just a Android 18 he ramped there. I don't think it was anything particularly strong. 
So there we go, we've got a card out of hand, and then we just peel off, puts us at six, and then we grab back the final hope. And then we just pass. He's likely going to put the droids down here, um, but there's not really much we can do about this. The thing we just need to do is just keep protecting this, I think. We have to be careful though, because once he gets to that 8 energy, we're we're in a lot of trouble. Um, it's going to be much quicker for him to kill us than it will be for us to kill him. He has one Broly in here. Have we crit any? I don't think we have. No, we haven't. Okay. If he just does the lead skill, I think we're getting value to protect this life. Because um, we can use the Pilaf just as combo power and then give him another 10k. If that's all he does, if he just goes to 35. Although we could also just super, but if he does droids, this is likely going to die anyway. I would rather get the benefit of this. Okay, so he ramped our droids. Which is good, so that's two droids out of the way, and he'll likely only run three in the list at most. So he has one in drop and one in energy. We also don't have many good four drop targets, um, which kind of sucks. So if we draw into the, um, the six drop, we don't really have any good plays off of it. Okay, so there's the third. So we kind of expected that. Now the problem we have is that if we super combo, we need more than a super combo. And we, our hand is terrible. We're going to have to give him a Zamasu, which we don't want to do. So honestly, I'm very tempted to take this. It just puts us in very dangerous range. We're not going to kill him next turn. Um, yeah, I think we have to take this. Okay, so we have another peel off and a go 10. We're, we're kind of hoping for a Goku Black there. Okay, and there's a 6 drop, of course. Um, I think we just charge the trunks. Actually, no. We'll keep the trunks. I think we charge this. We're probably going to have to go into like a weenie mode now. We're not going to play this this turn. Um, we're going to just swing here and we're going to dump this onto it. And we're just going to leave it at 40. We'll just chip away at that hand. Because we need this off the board, right? We absolutely need this off the board. So I think now we play Trunks. We don't take the life. And then we can peel off. To grab back final hope. And then we can swing onto this. We'll put final hope on. And then we will also combo the peel off. Oh, good god, we nearly hit the wrong target there. And then, this is only going to be... Oh, uh, no, we don't want to bounce that back, so we'll just not target anything. Yeah, and then we'll just combo that. So this is 55, so if he has a super, he's out of it. But we're then just going to swing this into this. Um... Yeah, so he's supered out. Now we have a, a, a position here where we know he runs instant Kamami has. So if this is a Broly, we know it's a 0k combo. Um, do we just go to 50 here? And I honestly think we do. But we need our supers defensively, so we're probably going to have to do double peel off. Actually, no. We're just going to leave that as is. Um... 
god, this is such a bad position to be in. Because even if we go to 50, if he has instant Kamehameha and he has a Broly, then we're, we're pretty much lost anyway. So I think we just leave that at 40. He'll, uh, maybe he'll just combo this. Um, if I'm him, I just combo this personally. That was maybe a bad play. Maybe we should have went to 50. But we need that 10k defensive. Yeah, so we're in a lot of trouble going into this turn. Um, we're going to have to obviously combo out the double strike, but depending on what this hand is, we maybe should have went to 50 there. Yeah, I think had we gone to 50, um, even if that is an instant Kamehameha, I think we were fine. It looked like it was potentially a 10 drop. Uh, the 10 drop, sorry, the uh, the 10k combo Gohan, uh, this one. Looked like that was at the end of his charge there. And now we're in deep trouble. Just gotta do the leader skill. Uh, yeah, I think we lose this. I mean, we can play the crit again off of the six drop if we somehow survive this turn. We don't want to take one of these, because he'll just full send on a Broly Swing. So we'll do peel off. And we're going to have to combo out of this. This is a tough one. Um... That 10k combo is kind of fucked us, to be honest. Um, it's going to take two supers, which we have to. We have to give him the two supers. And then we're only going to get a 10k at most from the next attack. Oh, that was rough. Had that, had that been a 5k, we maybe would have been fine. Because we would have taken one damage from this. Yeah. Oh well. I'm surprised he comboed on this one. Yeah, the only survival there was if that was a super combo. That was the only survival. But we drew really unfortunately that, that turn, um, or that game. You know, not seeing our Goku Black until turn 5 really, really sucks. Um, we didn't have even our 4 drops, or sorry, our, yeah, the 4 drop Goku Black. We didn't really see any of it. But that's just RNG. It is how it is in card games. Had we put 50 on this, looking at his hand there, because it did look like he charged that Gohan, unless that was what he drew for turn, I don't think we would have killed it. Um, we probably would have had to full send the hand to kill this card, and I don't think it would have been worth it. We were still on two life going into that turn, so... No ideal. We maybe just shouldn't have taken the double strike at all, um, and got out of it the first time we'd done it, but we'll show you the list that we're working with currently. Um... Obviously, I'm open for any changes and suggestions, because I do like Goku Black. I just, for some reason, can never really get it to work. Um, but we run four Goasus. Again, it's their Searcher. Um, four of these Amasus that just bottom deck cantrips. It's a decent card. Four of our 15Ks. Um, two Pans is a way to dig into our deck. It's also a way for us to discard four drops if we need to, um, so that we can enable these. Um, we have four Pilafs. It's the best card in blue. Four Mize is our self-awaken, but honestly, with this leader, you kind of want to just keep critting them down, so I don't know how much of this is going to stay, but we'll see. Um, I might cut this even just down to three and try and up something else, you know, maybe put something else into the deck. Um, I do think we need defensive defensive energy, because in turns where we can't use our, you know, we can't Zamasu into Goku Blacks, the, likely, the likelihood of us passing on energy still up means that Gallic Gun is still theoretically a play, so... I might play around with ratios somewhat and try and get Gallic Gun into the deck. Um, but four Gotens and four Trunks is again self-awaken. 
you know, the go 10 removes, this is a 25k attacker, it's still ver perfectly viable, both of them. Um, for the Goku Blacks, we saw none of them that game. Um, this is what we were looking for, because we could have at least kept up board presence, and it would have meant that that turn where we took the double strike, and then when we tried to clear it, it would have given us a second 30k to give us that potential with a final hope slash, for example. But unfortunately, we didn't see it. We only run three of the Crypt Vegetas. Um, again, it's just critical pressure, and this whole deck is kind of built off of that, more or less, between our leader and this card. That's kind of what we look to do. And, then, and into ramp, with them playing slower, it means that we can establish this for a couple of turns and put on that pressure. Um, two go tanks. Again, it's another four drop. It can add cards back to hand. It's it's just a good way of keeping our hand size up. You know, if it comes out on board. Four of the six drop Goku Blacks. Again, we didn't see them until turn five. Not ideal, but is what it is. Uh, four super combos and three final up slashes. But the only changes to the deck that I can think of right off the bat um, probably would be to try and find space for those um, those Gallic guns. So I might cut the pans. Pan is good for digging into the deck, um, but that's all it's good for. I, I never look to add it back from Pilaf. If I am looping anything with Pilaf, it's either itself or the final hope slash. It's never anything else, really. Um, so I might cut these two and maybe cut a my and put in three Gallic Guns. I think that's probably going to be my next test. So, guys, there'll probably be a, a, a deck or at least a video coming out in the next week with another Goku Black run um, that will have those changes. So keep an eye out on that. And again, if you guys have any other suggestions to change the deck, for sure hit me up in the comments. I'm always up for the discussion. And again, if you like the video, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.